Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of the U.S. and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the Texas flag. Honor, Honor the, the Texas, Texas flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. May you please remain standing for a moment of silence. You now be, be seated. Good morning, Donna North High School. This is Bernadette Gassidis, your principal here at this magnificent school where we have the best students, the best teachers, our, our faculty and staff along with our policemen, our security guards, our custodians, our uh, cafeteria workers. Everybody here works together to make this place a magnificent place. Today is February the 13th, the day right before uh, Valentine's Day, so girls and boys, if you all have a Valentine, don't forget to wish them a happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. We are going to have a Valentine's Day dance at the end of the school day uh, during your last period, so please make sure that you attend. Tickets are a dollar. Teachers, if you don't want to have students in your classroom the last period of the day, Buy tickets for your students. They're only going to be a dollar. So please, this is to help raise funds for our uh, junior senior class. So please make sure that you attend. It'll be fun. So our announcements for the day are um, seniors, you'll be taking your cap and gowns um, on Thursday and Friday. Uh, pictures, your cap and gown pictures on Friday, Thursday and Friday. It'll be held in the auditorium. So please come with your um, best hairdo because you will have a cap on your head so just make sure that you smile real big because it's a huge accomplishment uh, graduating from high school. The even bigger accomplishment is when you go on to post-secondary education. need to go to college, whether it's a two or four year degree, you need to go to college. So please make sure you're doing everything possible to graduate this school year. You don't want to have to go to 3D next year. So please make sure, seniors, that you are uh, working towards your graduation in May on May the 30th. Okay? Um, we're so happy and excited uh, uh, for our Lady Chiefs uh, wrestling team. They won district and 16-5A. They will be traveling this uh, weekend to regionals in Austin. So, girls, you have been doing an amazing job. We're very proud of you. I want you all to be here with me during the announcements tomorrow so that you can talk to me about all the hard work it took to get you to this uh, place in, in, in district and now going on to regionals. What a fantastic um, thing to happen here at Donna North High School. It's, not, not, it's never happened before, so uh, congratulations and girls, I expect you all to be here tomorrow with your coach Ayala so that we can talk about uh, all that you have to do to get to where you are right now, plus of course you, academics. You have to be passing to participate, correct? So come on over tomorrow, we'll talk about it, and we'll let all the student body know about your big win. And congratulations again. We have a softball tournament here this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it'll be the first a, a tournament of the year for softball. We're already in softball season. Tonight is the last um, game for basketball. So no more basketball. Now on to softball, baseball, track. And of course, let's see how far our students can get in a wrestling. Okay? Um, there we will have a faculty meeting uh, this Thursday, so please, uh, teachers, faculty, and staff, make sure that you're there on time. We have somebody from central office that's going to be here to give us some really important information that will help us and with our students to succeed and uh, higher than we already have with our students in testing. The benchmarks will be next week. That means that uh, those students that are freshmen that are taking Algebra 1 and Biology will be taking their benchmark and those two classes so that we can see how far along you are and how much further you need to go to make sure that you get a meet or a master's on your exam on the test and U.S. History. These will start Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So please make sure that you are here, students. 
because if you're not here, we're going to be looking for you. We're going to have to go out to your homes, look for you, and bring you back for your exam. So please, perfect attendance on those days for everyone. Our attendance has been teetering on 92, 93. I want to congratulate the seniors who had a 94% attendance yesterday. The sophomores had a 94% attendance also. Juniors and freshmen, you need to work on your attendance. So please, you have to come to work every single day. Those of you that are of age, and even if you're not, we will send you to court. Once you go to court, the judge can decide. You go GED and you'll be out of Donald North High School forever. So please make sure you're here on a daily basis. It's super important so that you can learn what it is that you need to know to pass your classes. If you're not here, you don't know what's going on. Every single day counts here at Donna North High School. Texas A&M will be here tomorrow. A representative from Texas A&M will be here tomorrow during C's and B's. Um, they will speak to the 11th and 12th graders uh, during C's and B's in the counseling area. You have to have a pass in order to come. So if you don't have a pass, that means you are not supposed to come. Get together with Ms. Ariana Sosa or Ms. Elvia Vasquez in order to see if you are going to come over to speak to that Texas A&M representative. Remember, we, uh, our seniors have already been applying to different colleges and they've been accepted and I'm very, very proud of you. We've been putting up lists and Ms. Elvia Vasquez has been putting up the lists in front of the uh, GO Center. So go by and look to see where most of our seniors are going to be going to college. Most of them have already applied. You need members, juniors and seniors, and even sophomores, your TSI, your ACT, or your SAT. It's, a, it's imperative that you take those exams so that you can go on to college, whether, it, again, I said two- or four-year degree. Sometimes when you leave here from high school, you can leave with a culinary arts a certificate, a, your cosmetology certificate. Some students even leave with um, learning how to weld. Welders make a lot more money than I will ever make in my whole lifetime. So we have a lot of opportunities for you here at Donna North High School. We want you to take advantage of it, students, um, every day. Take advantage of your education. Take advantage of being a very good student, a very good person, because in the end, that's what counts. Be very humble. Be kind to one another. Um, I wanted to speak to you all students about some things that have been going on here and at our sister school. So um, make sure that if you have internet on your phone and you have pictures and you know how you can forward pictures, be very exclusive as to the types of pictures that you're sharing. Because once a picture gets out and onto the internet, it goes viral depending on what it is. So please make sure that you're taking care of yourselves and your reputations and the good students that you are. Sometimes we make mistakes, but let's move forward. If you fall down, get back up. Let's keep on moving forward. Um, another thing that happened was that a couple of weeks ago, somebody broke into our um, uh, press boxes over there in our athletic field. Students Guess what? By that day, our security guards did an amazing job. They found out immediately who had done it. Those students are facing uh, charges of arson and breaking and entering and so on and so forth. So um, if you decide you want to go crazy on a weekend, don't go crazy and break into places, especially not this school, because this is your school. It's a magnificent school. It's beautiful. It has everything in it to teach you what you need to know to go on to the next level. We have our athletic fields for those students that are interested in athletics. So please make sure that you abide by that, that you respect that. Remember, dignity and respect takes you a long way. Do not ever forget that. Dignity and respect, being humble, being kind, loving one another. I know it sounds cheesy, loving one another, but with love comes a lot of things. There comes peace, there comes dignity, there comes respect. So if you love one another and you care about each other, that goes a long way. And you won't be doing the things that you, some of you have been doing. And believe me, students, it's only a handful. It's only a handful. 99% of our students here are great. We do have issues like any other school. I would like to say no, we don't, but we do, unfortunately. So, but remember what I've always said before, you learn from your mistakes. 
You fall down, you get back up, you move forward, don't look back. Don't ever look back once you've made a mistake. Don't make the same mistake twice. That would be uh, uh, a really wrong thing to do. And I know I have great students here at Donna North High School, and the reason for that is because you have great parents. Not only do you have great parents at home, when you're here at Donna North High School, we are your parents. We, there's a law in school that says, en loco parentis. That means that while you're here locally, we are your parents. I'm your parent, your teacher's your parent, the custodian's your parent. So don't, uh, like if a custodian or if a cafeteria worker, especially the security guards and the policemen, ask you to do something, please do so. We are here to help you every single day, every single day. Stay away from drugs. They're lacing drugs with all kinds of stuff. It's making kids go crazy. And those of you that are trying it out, it's keep taking you to the, high, to, the, to the hospital. So please make sure you don't do that to yourself, especially to your parents. Your parents are the ones that have raised you and that care for you and take care of you. So make sure that you respect your parents, both your parents, whether it's your guardian, your mother, your father, your grandmother, your aunt, your uncle, they are your parents. And while you're here, like I said before, we are your parents. And so we want to take care of you. We want to make sure that you succeed in life. Ultimately, education is a key to success. Ultimately, knowledge is power. I thank you for listening to me today. I didn't mean to ramble on, but those things are very, very important to me and to the rest of my administration and staff and everyone here at school. They preach those th things to you on a daily basis. We, we become preachers, we become parents, we become teachers, we are psychologists, counselors, we're everything. So make sure that you do your best on a daily basis. And I have a little plaque here that says, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. So on that note, it's a good day to have a good day here at Donna North High School. And go Chiefs!